Hello, how are you? I am a textile engineer and today I will tell you about air jet weaving loom and how to decrease the consumption of compressed air. So watch this video to learn to know the ways of decreasing air consumption. First of all let me tell you about air jet weaving looms. Weaving machines are classified into four groups according to their left insertion systems. They are shuttle, projectile, rapier, air jet and water jet looms. Of these groups shuttle and projectile weft insertion systems are not been mostly used nowadays because of their low weaving velocity. The water jet system does not have a wide application in practice, as it is only suitable for yarns made of hydrophobic fibers. Rapier and air jet weft insertion systems are commonly used for almost all kinds of fibers and yarns. When air jet and rapier weft insertion systems are compared, it's apparent that the rapier system has a lower velocity than air jet systems. The air jet weaving system is commonly preferred due to its high production speed. Air jet weaving can weave almost all kinds of yarns without any problem at higher speeds compared to the projectile and rapier system. This makes air jet looms a very good alternative to other weft insertion systems. However this type of system still has a major drawback the high power consumption due to the generation of compressed air. Therefore intensive efforts have been made by researchers and air jet loom makers to overcome this problem and achieve a dramatic reduction in air consumption without any decrease in loom performance and fabric quality. Now I will tell you about advantages of air jet weaving. Air jet filling is the simplest way of inserting the filling yarn which probably explains why air jet weaving machines are one of the most popular machines in the world today. The major components of the insertion system are tandem and main nozzles, ABS brake system and relay nozzles which are relatively simple in design. The insertion mass to be accelerated is very small relative to shuttle rapier or rapier machines which allows high running speeds. Unlike rapier or projectile insertion systems there are not many mechanically moving parts to control and insert filling yarn. The advantages or air jet weaving machines are their high productivity high filling insertion rates, simple operation and reduced hazards because of few moving parts, low noise and vibration levels, reliability, minimum maintenance and low spare parts requirement. So this was a complete introduction of air jet weaving and its advantages. In the next video I will tell you factors affecting air consumption. Please see the description of this video written information. Please subscribe to my channel textile magazine to know about my upcoming videos.